Woo! All right. Ah! Man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> all right, guys, so I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. Uh, I'm not gonna do my normal videos that I normally do where everything's all planned out. Or semi-planned out, I have a goal in mind. I'm gonna do a little just a vlog. Which, you know, I forgot a part. Yep. I forgot a part. All right, so, as I was saying, I got the part. Uh, today's gonna be a little bit different. I got a certain goal in mind, but I'm just gonna do a little vlog of actually what I'm doing. So, the Honda doesn't have brakes. Well, it has brakes, but you have to pump the brakes to make them work. And I've been trying to diagnose that problem for the last couple days. Uh, I've had no luck, not even gonna lie. I ordered a crappy check valve. Uh, normally, Honda has them built in. So it should have been built in about here with this line. There's a metal bracket that sits up right here on the stock DX. Check valve sits right between there and then it goes there into the intake manifold. I threw it away like a dummy. So I had to go order one, order from Amazon. Don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll see. I don't even know if it's the right size. Shit. That line looks way bigger. This is a 3 8 That line may be a half inch. I don't know, maybe we'll be okay. I don't know though. We'll go ahead and throw that in. And then we're gonna go ahead and talk about these. Because people have seen these in the video and I've gotten questions about these headers now. Um, they're cheap, they're budget. They said they were meant for a K-swap, got them from eBay for I think like 160. And that was uh, with shipping. Tax is probably like 175. Uh, I actually have no exhaust hooked up to the rest of these headers. So if you can't, that's probably as good as you're gonna get. But headers are in, uh, they just run out to a dump right there. There's actually nothing. Oh, you know what? Okay, so sideways shot for a moment. So the headers, they're actually right there. They just, it's open dump all the way back to the rear. Nothing's holding them in. Um, yeah, there's nothing holding the headers in there. Uh, well, I guess there's nothing connected to the headers. It's just open header all the way back. Doesn't sound too bad, although I haven't revved the car up past like maybe 1400 RPM, probably 18. But I guess for now, let's go ahead and get this, uh, let's get this check valve installed and then we'll go ahead and carry on with the rest of the video. Don't want to cut this because if this is bad, I don't have anything to combine this line back together. What the hell is that? I actually don't know what this is right here. Something pretty solid though. I don't know. Something fancy going on down there. Anyway, we're gonna just make a little splice in this line somewhere. Should I cut it here? I feel like that's bad. I think that's really bad. Let's cut it and see what happens. So these are meant for cutting hose. They work really well for it though. So from my understanding, there's a little arrow on here. Little arrow, I don't know if you guys are able to see it, but there's like a little uh, inscription of the arrow. I guess that means it goes towards the intake manifold. So we'll do that. So I don't know if I should hose clamp this, but I'm gonna do it just to be safe. I've led these brakes a lot because these were all new lines. I may have already shown you guys already, but they were all new lines strictly uh, from strictly from the prop valve all the way back to the rear. And then even the uh, rubber lines that were supposed to be from the body to the caliper, those are also stainless steel. So it's full of stainless steel all around the car. Yeah, this is extra full. This is exactly what I ordered from eBay. Uh, it said it fit the K-Swap. 
Well, here, let's just do this. I just don't like that flared out section where I guess it's supposed to be a collector down there. I hate that. But it does come with two spots for O2 bungs. Uh, this is currently where I have my wideband at. And then, yeah, I'm not using that one. That one's staying plugged. But the thing you guys probably won't be able to tell is this header actually comes in two sections and it's a pain in the ass to get on. Mine currently touches my steering rack, so you've got to get it dented in. You can take it to a muffler shop or have them extend the piping down here. Um, that's probably your best course of action to make it clear. I've got my car set to the lowest position currently, and that's because I'm running power steering. So, fortunately, I can't go any lower. My ground clearance is already suffering. I've probably got about four or five inches, if that. But, actually, it might even be that much because the car is also slightly lowered on coilovers. Um, but yeah, this is the header. It's what I bought. I think it sounds all right. It does a job. I have not actually driven the car very far with it. Last time I did, I broke something. So, plain and simple to the point. I'll go ahead and give you guys a startup of what it sounds like. I hope you guys can hear it. It's not the best, but I bought this just so I can start the car tuned. I plan to make my own exhaust, which I also bought a welder. So I'll go ahead and. Uh, I guess when we get to that video, we'll get to that video. I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm welding the car. I guess when I'm welding everything up and cutting the header. But that's not staying for very long. It's probably going to be here long enough for the car to get emissions and everything done. And then we'll start with the custom header. So here she is as she sits now. Um, yeah, it's about as loud as she is currently. At idle, the idle's a little, it's high right now, I do believe, just because it's a cold start. I can rev it a little bit, but if I try to rev it, it'll start falling off and uh, it'll sound like it's about to die out just because it has a tune just for it to idle. I can't drive this on the streets or nothing. Like, this is it. Like, it's strictly a tune for idling nothing more oh my god look at that <laughs> look at that now look at that again then back to that that gap's a problem anyways let's go ahead and get you guys set up so you guys can just hear what it sounds like when i rev it a little bit exhaust dumps out about here actually it should be right in this area
sound clip of how it sounds inside the car without any panels or and a bunch of shit inside. So I'm revving it up to 2000 RPM where the last one was. All right, guys, but I'll go ahead and end the vlog here, or I guess this vlog. Uh, and here, just wanted to give you guys some information about what I haven't talked about in the car. A lot of this stuff was done when it was, it was still icing outside, and I didn't have enough time to record because it was sitting at like 24 degrees, 25 degrees outside, freezing. So I needed to be able to use both my hands to work quickly and try to get this stuff done. The header took the longest to get on the car. But for now, like I said, in the vlog, uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Go, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share the video. Leave a comment, actually. Leave a comment. No one's been leaving comments lately. I've been feeling kind of lonely in the chat. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But leave a comment. And that's all I got for you. So peace out. Keep moving forward.